I'm always on the wrong side of the woke on medicine, or maybe, I don't know. You're maybe, on the wrong side of the woke fairly frequently yes, recently. Yes, but especially on that one. They really hate, they hate it when I went after obesity, and, you know, not in a mean way, just in a way that's saying, and it's so, so funny, now that Ozempic is getting everybody back into shape, mm -hmm. I notice these articles saying, you know, it's not just good for weight loss. And they list like 20 other things it's good for. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, you idiots. What it means is obesity was always bad for everything. And now that people aren't so fat, all these other things are getting better too. It's so not I, the Ozempic. I interviewed this psychiatrist, Chris Palmer, who works at the McLean Hospital in Boston. Mm. And that's, I suppose, the premier psychiatric hospital maybe in the world. And they're using the carnivore diet to treat schizophrenia, manic depressive disorder, and endogenous depression. So that's depression all, without that's a all cause. Meat. It's all Car meat, yeah. That's what you you used. Yeah. And he's had remarkable success with it. Uh, and this is really something, right? Because those are very intractable conditions, especially schizophrenia. And I never did think that they were like psychological in origin. There's they're so serious that it's very difficult to shake the suspicion that something has just gone seriously wrong, like physically, physiologically. And anyways, they're yeah. having, I think he has, I think he told me that they're running 50 different studies examining the effect of diet on these serious mental disorders. So that's very exciting to watch. And again, this is one of those things, meat, that really shouldn't even have a political dimension because it's just science and the science is out. This is more evidence to me that, well, we don't know a lot of shit. This is always my one of my issues that they argue with me about medicine is that, you know, it's not an uncommon story to hear somebody say, yeah, I have some pain. They can't really figure out why. They can't figure out a lot. It's not an indictment. It's just that's the century we're living in where they just still can't figure out a lot. Yeah, well, people turn out to be complicated. And medicine is very complicated. Yes, that's for sure. And some things the medical profession do very well. They're very good yes. at joint replacements, for example. They're good at many things. They're very good at, um, after <laughs> they're being very bad at preventative medicine, yeah. when you're right at the end of the line, swooping in at the last minute yeah. with heroic measures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard to monetize preventive strategies, hey? Correct. And it's also hard to right. get people credit for them. That's so you know, true. It's like, right. here's a major problem you didn't have. That, <laughs> that's a yeah. great point. It's really rough. I mean, it, right. it, 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 so it, it, that's a real strategic and tactical problem. There have been attempts at times to pay doctors for how many people they keep healthy, you know, to give them a crew of people. Mm -hmm. and, and But those are, those are hard systems to set up economically. Well, it's a hard sell to the people who make money on ill health. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it is. But you're right. I have seen those studies. Let's incentivize keeping yeah. people. I think there was one in McLaren, Texas, they did it, the biggest one. Mm -hmm. And of course it works. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you well, if can you set up the incentive structure. Yeah, you properly, can incentivize you, anything. You can, yes. But well, in any event, you look. I mean, I've had doctors who always say, you know, I can tell when someone walks in the office if they're healthy. Really, mm -hmm. it's a, like it's a look that you get right away. You know, I mean, this is part of Biden's problem. With, like he just looked bad. You can't yeah. look. You can't look bad, and then of course he he sounded like a junkie when he talked. <laughs> But for at the end, but you know, you, you look healthy. You Hooray. look hell. Hooray. And, and I know you have, uh, uh, you're starting your own. Hey everyone, I'm on Substack now. Check it out and subscribe now at billmar.substack.com. What could be simpler than that? My name, then dot, substack.com.